In this video, we're going to learn how to calculate the area of a rectangle using C. The first thing we'll do is declare variables to store the length, width, and area of the rectangle. So we'll have double, and then length, width, and area. So here, we've declared three double variables, length, width, and area. We've declared these variables using the type double. So that way these variables can store numbers with decimal places, like 2.5. The next thing we'll do is prompt the user to enter in the rectangle length. So we'll have printf and then a string with length colon space in the string. So the printf function is being passed a string literal with the text length colon space. That function is going to output those characters to the terminal. That will prompt the user to enter in the rectangle length. Next, we'll take the length that the user enters and store it into the length variable using scanf. So we'll have scanf percent %lf and then and length. So the scanf function is going to read a double value from user input. That's what percent %lf is going to do. Percent %lf is going to read a double value from user input. The second argument to scanf is and length. Length is the variable where we want to store the double value that the user enters. And is going to help the scanf function to do that. The and operator is actually going to give us the memory address of length. And by passing the memory address of length to the scanf function, the scanf function can store the value that's entered into that memory address, the memory address of length. Next, we'll do the same thing with width. We'll have printf and then a string with width, colon, and space, and then scanf with percent %lf, and this time, and width. So here, we're again prompting the user with the text width, colon. And this time, we're gonna store the value that's entered into the width variable. Finally, we can calculate the area. So we'll have area is equal to length times width. So here, we're using the multiplication operator to multiply the length by the width. This expression here is going to be evaluated. We're going to use the length and the width that the user entered in at runtime as the program is executing to perform this calculation. This here is an assignment operator. It's going to store the value that was calculated into the area variable. Then we could output the area. So we'll have printf area colon, then percent %f backslash n, followed by area. So here, the printf function is going to output the text area colon and then space. Percent %f is telling the printf function that we want to output a double value here. And then here, we're supplying that double value to put here. So area is going to be output right here. Backslash n is actually a special character, the new line character. So after this line of output, a new line character is going to be output. That's going to cause any future output to occur on the next line in the terminal. So now our program is ready to be tested. We'll save, compile, and run our program. And I'll enter in 2.5 for the length and 5.5 for the width. And we get an area of 13.75. Now notice how there's many decimal places here in the output. We could reduce the amount of decimal places by using a precision field. So here we would have percent dot two f. What this would do is output the area value with two decimal digits of precision. We could save compile and run our program again. Now, if I enter in a length of 12.6666 and a width of 5.5555, we now get an area of 70.37. So it's less precise, but now we only have two decimal digits in our output, which might be more readable. So this is how we can calculate the area of a rectangle using C. Check out PortfolioCourses.com, where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers, including courses to help you develop C programming projects.